This is the example on using construction to help you think about structures. Sometimes you will come across a structure and it will appear at first glance to be really rather complicated. So this is an example of that. It's got four supports, it's got two hinges. Actually it's statically determined, so it's not really complicated at all, but it does look a bit complicated. One of the most important things, I think, when you come across a structure like this is to consider how the structure might actually have been built. So, for instance, if we consider the structure beneath, which is identical in every way to the structure above, it might have been that this structure was built by cantilevering out this beam, supporting, supporting this beam on the left on two supports and cantilevering it out, supporting this beam on these two supports, cantilevering it out, and then later on, with these two beams cantilevering out, bringing in a so-called drop-in span, which is supported there and supported there. Now this structure is identical to this structure, but by redrawing it in this way, things become crystal clear, because it's now obvious that we have a little simply supported drop-in span in the middle, and two really quite easy beams to analyse, and it makes your life much easier. So let's have a look at what the bending moment diagram would look like. If we consider the bending moment diagram for this structure, let's first draw the middle bit. The middle bit, which is down where the drop-in span is, all this is is a simply supported beam which, has, which is carrying UDL. Therefore, its little bending moment diagram simply looks like that, nice and easy. If you are the beam on the left-hand side, you will feel that you are carrying uniformly distributed load all the way along the length. But you will also feel that at your tip, at the end of this cantilever, you are carrying downwards the reaction force which this drop-in span needs to have applied to it upwards for its own equilibrium. In other words, if you are this left-hand beam, you have uni uniformly distributed load all the way along the length with a downward reaction force point load at the end. And in order to draw that bending moment diagram, it will simply look and give it like that, and exactly the same on the other side. That would be a feasible bending moment diagram for that structure. And that is actually very trivial to draw when you have it right in your mind that that central drop-in span is the equivalent of what was drawn at the top. It's making life easy by thinking about how something might actually be constructed.